Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are talking about mostly fusion, but also about the new update that's coming. I think the video before last I was talking about it. So yeah, today's video is mostly gonna be about the fusion that is coming in today's update. I guess the update won't actually drop until tomorrow, but it's starting today, apparently at about five o'clock UTC. But first we're gonna quickly go over the changes they are including in this update. So first of all, the new natural five-star light monster Shiva, which was announced in an event on the Facebook page this will be the one available through fusion and we're gonna get into how to do that a little bit later in the video also Rocky which I don't think we heard anything of but he will be a new one as well and the three-star Gatito which was uh, originally named uh, Katsi I believe yeah down here it says previously mentioned Katsi is corrected into Gatito or however the hell you pronounce it so yeah and then of course fusion a few things with gems such as being able to lock them you'll have a little mark on any new ones you got and a function to view total gems Gyms. A little bug fix here and this line here is basically the only thing that says anything about this like the biggest thing for me Which was redu uh, reducing the the energy price from 40 to 30 and upping it to 80 instead of 70 All it says is hidden energy amount on airship energy price and amount at shop are changed So it doesn't say exactly it's going to be that change, but I assume it will be so hopefully that goes through But it doesn't say exactly and another one of the big changes was that the eggs you buy in in the league shop are being reduced by 100 points. I was thinking 50 at most, 100 is amazing. Even the secret egg is going down by 100 points, even though it was only 200 to start with. Also, if you haven't finished story mode yet, you will now get those natural three-star monsters after completing a quest at uh, certain levels. Instead of, I believe it, they were always level one when you got them as a reward. Now they'll have boosted levels all the way up to level 30 at chapter seven and eight. You won't lose as many points in Ashmon League for losing a defense. One thing I'm a little bit confused of is this issue here. Collection rewards for Jackal Little, four-star and Hunter, four-star were set as three star now since I've already collected the astro gems for five out of the six jacks and four of the six hunters will I get sort of compensated for the gems I lost out because they were set as three star astromons I don't know we'll have to see I hope they do do that because it kind of sucks to lose astro gems on a mistake like that then also just some more little issues fixed here and yeah pretty much everything else is stuff I talked about in the previous video about the update. So what we're going to talk about now is fusion. One of my good MSL buddies uh, Marg here showed us some photos of how fusion is going to be once it's released. As a side note he does have his own YouTube channel and uploads videos sometimes so I'm going to leave that in the description down below. Dinner roll go check him out. So yeah the first one I want to show you is an actual in-game screenshot where you can see this is the new Astromon Katsi I believe. A Apparently you need two EVO 2 at max level to get one EVO 1 at 4 star. It is a little bit harsh to be honest since you'll ultimately need eight Katsis for one EVO 1. That's actually kind of insane when I think about it. And they also need to be max level from what it seems on this picture. I actually need a calculator for this, hold on. To actually get one of these to EVO 3 just from Fusion, you would need 128 Katsis and 1.6 million gold. And that doesn't include the cost to evolve these guys, that's just the summoning cost. So yeah, as it seems right now, I'm not totally sure if fusion's worth it. Above that, you can see you need an Evo 3 Boltwing plus an Evo 3 Anu, both legendaries from the maps to get one of the new natural 5-star monsters. But yeah, what I'm going to show you now is an evolution chart or like a tree. Here we go. So you can see down at the bottom, you need natural 2 and 3-star monsters to start the fusion at the bottom of the fusion tree. You have two natural 2-stars, two this Robobot and Kilobat. You need to have them Evo 2 max level and then you will get one Evo 1 one dark cosmo it seems and then next to that you have a water and a grass miho evo 2 max level will create one of these light wolves get a dark cosmo and a light wolf to evo 3 and then you can fuse to make whatever the hell this dude is above i don't really recognize that maybe that's rocky i'm not too sure that's what i would assume since i don't recognize it like i said and then if you do all the fusions over on the left side you can eventually get up to a water victoria fuse them both together and then you'll have an evo 1 anu so if you do this whole process 16 times then you can eventually have an Evo 3 Anu. But the Boltwing, it seems like you can't evolve anything into it. Maybe this is just one tree of many trees, and maybe this will change from time to time, because I see there are no Katsis involved here, so this may only be a part of the uh, fusion tree. But yeah, fusion, very, very tough, I would say. And this five-star guy, for the amount he really needs just to get one of them, he must be 
freaking amazing. He better be amazing. He really, really better be amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much how Fusion works. Even so, really looking forward to the update and also the capture event. Maybe the water, fire, or wood one will be good enough to use also because I'm not sure if I'm going to go through that much effort for a light or a dark one. I don't know yet. Marg also told us about the uh, skills of the light and dark catsies or the whatever the hell they're called. You know what I'm talking about. So the light one has a 100% chance for two saps. I'm not sure if that means two turns or two stacks. And five star is aggression at HP, which means the more HP it'll have, the stronger its active skill will be. And the dark one's three star skill is a 100% chance to boost SP by 30% and critical damage up by 50%. So as a dark one, that's pretty awesome because it should have a base of 100% crit damage anyway. So if you can get its crit rate up, that should mean tons and tons of damage, kind of like a dark version of light jack actually. So so has even more damage potential there, but yeah, I guess we'll have to see. So I guess that will do it for today. Don't really have anything else to discuss. Really looking forward to the energy change. I've been trying not to refill energy too much. Been trying to hold back on that until the update is out because I know it'll be a lot cheaper then. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about Fusion and about the update in general. But yeah, for now, that will have to do it. Thanks as always, guys, for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. And until next time, I did it again, didn't I?